Well, thank you, Mr Chair, and I thank my, my good colleagues for some very good questions uh, in relation to part two uh, of this bill. Might be misleading the House, but go on. <laughs> Mr Naylor asked about um, Clause 8, in particular the uh, power of the inspector to seize uh, publications, and he asked about um, uh, subclause 1 uh, and subclause 2 of, of that clause in the bill in part 2. Uh, and there is an interesting um, section of the Act. Um, the term inspector seems to have fallen out of favour a bit, but the Act still talks about the inspector um, um, in relation to films, videos and publications. So um, section 107.2b uh, II uh, talks about publications uh, generally uh, and it deals with um, uh, deals with, with the, the wide, you know, the, the full ambit of uh, publications, and the difference between uh, clause 8.1 and clause 8.2 is that uh, that that, that uh, clause, which only, which refers to section 107.3b of the Principal Act, that deals with film posters. And again, it's a sort of curious um, oddity is the wrong word, but a curious feature, I suppose you would say, uh, of the Principal Act that we have a specific section to do with film. Uh, posters, uh, and what what it does, of course, um, is um, is you know allow the inspector to seize uh, film posters that advertise a uh, a um, publication or in you know or a film poster in relation to a publication, a film uh, that that is in breach of an interim restriction order. So if there is an interim restriction order um, imposed, uh, then uh, publicising a publicising a, a film poster in relation to that film uh, would be a breach. Uh, and so section 107 is a consequential amendment based on the fact that we are amending the, the section of the Act to do with interim restrictions uh, more generally. And then, of course, clause, subclause 1 of clause 8 in this bill uh, deals with wider publications to do uh, with the seizure um, of publications. So uh, that deals um, with that. Uh, Maureen uh, Pugh's um, question was in relation to serial publication orders, and again, it's a, this is something that's a, a, a curious uh, part of the uh, um, Principal Act, and it's a section that's not widely used, but it basically, without getting too into details, it's a section of the Act to do with repeated uh, publications that have been found to be objectionable, that the Classification Office can then issue a serial publication order in relation to, uh, and um, again, because of the restriction, because of the changes we are making to do with interim restriction uh, orders, there are consequential amendments to do with the um, serial publication orders that can be issued by the classification office as well. They're not often used, to my knowledge, uh, to my limited knowledge, uh, but it's, an, it's a, a necessary amendment uh, to that section of the Act because of the amendments we're making in Part One um, of the Act. And I hope that I trust that that answers members' questions. The question is at part two, stamp out. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no, the ayes have it. The question now is at clauses one to three, stand part. Mr Chair. Chris Bishop. Oh, thank you very much, Mr Chair. Um, there are three uh, clauses in um, uh, this uh, part of the debate. Uh, we did now, we did, have, we did have some debate at Select Committee uh, about the title, uh, which is in clause one of this bill. Uh, and we did, we did have some debate, and, that's, and Mr Farfoy says we changed it, and that's exactly right. We had a debate, and then we changed it. Well, the committee recommended that it be changed uh, as well. So the original title uh, was the Films, Videos and Publications Classification Interim Restriction Order Classification Amendment Bill. Uh, and we have changed it to the Films, Videos and Publications Classification Interim Restriction Order Classification Amendment Bill. Um, and and um, well, the reason we made that change is um, we, we, we felt it better reflected the actual... Um, I mean, I accept it's a minor change. It's a small change, uh, not one um, that's worthy of much comment. But I just draw the House's attention to the fact that we have made that change in order to um, better reflect the purpose, um, the purpose of, the, uh, of the bill. It's, it's slightly shortened the title. We also had a bit of a debate about Clause 2, which is the commencement clause, which is when the, the bill should come into force. Uh, and uh, there was a bit of debate about whether or not there should be a, a six-month sort of lead-in period, or whether or not it should be, you know, 12 months after uh, the date of royal assent. That's that's a classic uh, commencement clause, 12 months, which uh, you know allows people time to transition 
time to transition to the new uh, phase of um, classification office decisions. Um, and, and, uh, and we decided in the end that that was not appropriate in this case because it's such a minor change and actually we're dealing with experts here uh, and actually we received quite good, we received a submission from the, the Office of the Film and Literature uh, Classification Office uh, and they, they said to us that, well, I think I'm recalling it correctly when I say that they said that, that, that they supported, they broadly supported the changes uh, that, that were recommended by the bill and they could bring them into force uh, straight away. So um, this, this bill has been, um, int was introduced, it received its first reading in December last year, it's been through the full select committee process uh, and we're pretty confident that the powers that be, the authorities, uh, have the appropriate wherewithal and the appropriate uh, expertise to bring it into force uh, straight away. So therefore we've decided uh, that it will come into force on the day after it receives the Royal Assent, which I hope will be in a couple of weeks' time. Question. Oh, Maureen Pugh. Yes, yes, sir, I am. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I just, I, I, you know, I, I shouldn't be showing hilarity. I'm just, I am slightly surprised. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised myself too, sir. But, um... <laughs> This is not a walkout. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it something I said? Thank you, um, Mr. Chairs. Um, um, I stand um, tonight um, again. Uh